Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogweb333, and welcome back to The Political Machine 2020. Now, in the last video, we hopped in as Senator Sanders, the gentleman from Vermont, and won the Electoral College by a pretty comfortable margin against incumbent Mr. Trump. Now, we actually lost a popular vote, which is kind of funny, but um, yeah, considering current events and current speculation on what it might end up happening but you know what we we're here now and um we won and at the end of the day the people say it doesn't fucking matter in this country when it comes down to the electoral college so it worked out in the end now since last time we hopped in version 0 0.1 uh, 1.02 has come out already i like they're coming out pretty quickly with the updates Granted, this one wasn't as substantial as the last one, but still, it's nice to know that they're still working on this game. And whether or not it should be early access or not, that's a whole other thing. But, that's a discussion for another time. So let's go ahead and hop back in. Um, we'll go over the patch changes as we kind of go along, but we're going to be hopping in as the Democrats once more. And this time, we're going to be playing as the Congresswoman from Hawaii, uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Now just to read a description real quick, from her service in the National Guard to being the first Hindu member of Congress, to defending against attacks from Hillary Clinton, Tulsi Gabbard has blazed trails and fought battles on many different fronts. Does this anti-interventionist have what it takes to become the first female president? Now, um, this is again full time for, or uh, full disclosure. I do like Gabbard. She's not my first pick. She was probably at the height when there were 80 fucking people running on the Democrat side. She was probably my third favorite. I mean, I kept switching between Yang and Bernie for my top. But uh, for a while it was Yang, then I swapped to Bernie, then I was kind of decided. And now, I've been pretty solidly Bernie for a while. But Gabbard has always been a solid third for me. There's always been a few weird things, like the, um, the ties to the Hindu extremist kind of weird me out a bit. But for the most part, I like her, and she has some pretty solid rhetoric. And her gameplay is actually pretty interesting with her unique Tulsi's Better World ideology. It has a lot of the typical kind of left democratic socialist stuff that Bernie kind of has, but it doesn't start off with that. It also has some more stuff that, appro that appeals more broadly across the board. So Tulsi's at, uh, she actually has a pretty solid old ideology running with her. I know a lot of people say it's not the best, but I think if you kind of know what to do, it works out pretty well. So that's kind of what we're going with. And just to go over new updates, there's this guy, Valentino Rudabach, which represents the lunacy ideology. It's a fake person. I have a crazy idea for a video with this guy, just to fuck around. Just do another silly game like my first video. But that'll be another time. And then we have Kamala Harris, the senator from California, establishment Democrat. Uh, nice little hair model, which is now available if you guys want to mess around with it. But yeah. So, but yeah, we're. Oh, and by the way, um, I got bored. I decided to make Joe Rogan. Been lost listening to Love Podcast. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is all tentative. I'm kind of waiting for the workshop in the uh, ideology customizer that I think the um, dev set is coming. Because progressive kind of fits with Joe, but at the same time, there's a lot of flavor to him that doesn't quite work with um, progressivism perfectly, at least for Joe. So I figured I'll wait, plus there's no point in doing much anyway with it but you know for a while and this is a description I got right now if you guys wanna pause and read it for a second cuz I'm, I'm proud of proud of what I've come up with so far it's tentative like I said but if you guys if you guys have any um, point pointers for me I know a lot of people are probably gonna question me putting as progressive but I can exp I'd explain it but I just kinda wanna get started in the game so let's go ahead and hop in real quick. We gotta pick our um, opponent. So this is a new guy they added for um, 
the Republicans, Dan Crenshaw, um, former Navy SEAL guy, current congressman from Texas, lost his eye in a war or something, as the whole old uh, SNL bit goes. Looks like a por uh, hitman in a porno. Which actually, that was, actually was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we're not going to go against Mr. Crenshaw today. Instead, we're going to be going against Jeb. That's right, Mr. Jeb Bush, former governor of Florida, current brother of former President George W. Bush, and son, former son, technically, of um, H.W. Bush. May he rest in peace. Uh, so, let's go ahead. It's Jeb. Jeb Bush is a former gov Florida governor and is often considered a favorite among the so-called establishment wing of the Republican Party. A mainstream conservative, he's often seen as lacking the energy to overcome other factions of, of the in the party. So here's compassionate conservatism, which, from what I can tell, is actually a pretty solid ideology, if you know how to run with it. But, for now we're going to be going with, um, we're running against Jeb. He's sleeping, he has the charisma of a cold fish, which is kind of funny. But, yeah. And we also have Valentino here again. But, yeah, for now, let's go ahead and start, shall we? 21 weeks. That's how long they have to convince voters to give their support. You guys know the drill. Select your candidate, move over. So where are we starting? So I had a, pre I had a pretty solid strategy. We need a lot. As long as we keep these four states locked down, expand our reach over here on the West Coast, we're fine. Then try to do as much damage on the East Coast, lock down New England, get as much of a spell as we can. Then try to pick off a southern state. Now, Florida, I found, is usually more trouble than it's worth, even though it does have quite a bit of delegates. We had some luck with South Carolina. Might go for North Carolina this time around. Mm -hmm. Also, I've had luck with Louisiana, so we might try that. But for now, let's go to... So Michigan's going to be a big one, so let's go to Michigan. Build a headquarters, and then... Let's go ahead and support the auto industry. Get a bit of support there. There we go. Uh, town halls have appeared. Let's go ahead. Move over there. Now right off the bat, we actually have a pretty solid base to expand our... We can do energy and chamber rewards, invest in America, or protect the environment. Protect the envi environment's okay. Um... Let's start with Invest in America, because that's usually a pretty good one to go with. And then we can do Universal Healthcare or um, More Money for Education. And then we will we'll wait to decide what we're going to do there. And see, that already got a lot of red off the board. Because a lot of people go figure, they like investing in America. Who would have thought? America ends like being invested in. So let's support Blue Collar Jobs in Pennsylvania. There we go. Beautiful. And then we can go to where we want to go. I'm going to see if we can try to... We're going to try to lock down Georgia the best we can. So let's build a headquarters there. And let's give a speech about um, saving the bees. I support saving bees. What can I say? So we got Georgia fairly locked down. It's always tentative. Can't say too much already. But let's get go ahead and... Fly over to Arizona and get ready. So next turn. Let's go ahead. Not at headquarters. Let's give a speech. Invest in America. A lot. See, nice thing about Invest in America is Republicans, Independents, and Democrats like it. And that's pretty good for um, you generally. So we got Georgia down so far. I'm going to go for Louisiana next. Uh, give a speech. Uh, invest in America. There we go. Town halls approached or appeared. Let's go ahead to Kentucky. See what we can get. Um, more money for education is pretty good. It gives a lot of enthusiasm for Jeb because I guess Republicans for some reason don't like investing in education. I don't know how that really works in game. I guess we have to balance it out somehow. Um, 
Michigan is pretty solidly blue, as well as Hawaii, as the Congresswoman would say. And since we're playing as her, we got to get it right, you know? Let's head over to Virginia. And then... So let's fly over to Ohio, because we you get a little bit of a boost in enthusiasm when you fly to a state, I've noticed. So we have an early lead. We just advocate for higher, lower taxes. So that's going to help Jeff. Ooh, Ben Sharp. A duck declared governor of California, flurry of town hall construction, boost of economic growth, and Democrats get lost in a core today on the Ben Sharp show. Tariffs are high. Are generally a bad idea. They put the government between the buyer and the seller, resulting in higher costs for everyone involved. What's your position on tariffs? Uh, they are a tax on the American consumer. While I won't claim there's never a case from them, they are a tool of government that the government should use only as a last result. So are people like that. I really have a double shame when it comes to abuse power and presence. Fast and fierce IRS abuse, drone striking American citizen. No problem for or left, despite actual crimes having been committed. What's your position on the impeachment of Donald Trump? Um... Uh, the man has run red shot over the Constitution since his first day in office. He has used the power of his office for personal, political, and economic gain in ways that are unprecedented in American history. People actually like that. Okay. Thanks for thanks for candid for coming in and listening quietly while I talk. This is Ben Sharp with the Ben Sharp Show. I fucking love that quote. I'm taking another screenshot of it. Gabbard wins independence, and we have Georgia so far. Pretty solidly down. So let's build a headquarters in Ohio. And let's invest in America, guys. Doesn't didn't do that big well actually. Um let's try and get an ad going. Talking about hmm. Stopping Corona. That nasty ass beer. I don't like As President of the United States, I do not support Corona. What can I say? So we got more ideology points. We'll get working on regime change wars soon. Because that unlocks a pretty damn good ideology. Ooh, Georgia's starting to flip. So let's go ahead and get an ad in Georgia about investing in America. There we go. And then we're running pretty low on money, so let's head to Cali. And we'll fundraise there next turn. Yeah. It's a nice about bit of money. Um, Louisiana. It's not too... We still have a lead there right now by an okay margin that I'm kind of tempted to go somewhere else. Let's go Tennessee. I don't know. Let's try Missouri, actually. Let's head over to Missouri. Let's get a campaign there, office there, actually. And then let's give a speech about... Hmm. No, investing in America. You can't argue against investing in America. It's just... Oh, let's head back home real quick. Okay. Uh, and regime change wars. There we go. Solidly, solidly back in the blue. Back in the blue. Let's see what this is. 500 grand, that's what I'm talking about. And then... Where do we want to go next? Let's go South Carolina. And let's get an ad. For, what wouldn't you know? I invest in America. My opponent opposes investing in America. How about that, Jeb? Hmm? Another town hall. In energy independence. Compassionate conservative. Um, let's head over to Virginia. And invest in Virginians. So we can pick our running mate. I'm tempted to go with Joe. But he's still a work in progress. So we have to work on... We still... It's not time to unveil Joe Rogan to the American people quite yet. Um, I'm thinking Bernie. I mean, mag uh, magnetic charisma, stamina isn't the best, but we have enough stamina with us right now that I think it kind of balances out. And 
and they kind of mesh well together. So let's go with Bernie. This is Democratic Socialism. Joe supports fracking. Okay. Um, hmm. All of a sudden, things are a bit more up in the air. Which is fun. It's fine. Makes things more competitive. Keeps you more on edge. Louisiana is getting pretty solidly purple. Let's head... Let's get an ad in Wisconsin. I support Invest in America. Then let's speak about... More money for education. And then let's head over to Iowa. Town halls have appeared. Ooh, Washington's purple, actually. So let's head back there. Uh, I support... I'm going to say, I support the environment. Fight me if you want to, but I support it. That didn't do too much. At well, we have the advantage there now. Let's go ahead fundraise. Head back to Colorado, give a speech about investing in America. And they love it. Uh, Kentucky, we have an advantage in. Tennessee, not so much. Minnesota, all that. We kind of... We have a lead in there. Let's head to New Hampshire. Ooh, a uh, late show with Stefan Cold Cut. Let's do it. The big story, we are talking... Uh, no, a feral pig escapes from Chicago Zoo and is currently pulling higher than our first guess. Ouch. This is a trick question, so be careful. How important is it for President to be honest? Um, very. Okay, so here's the trick, tricky part. Are you honest? I have a long track record of saying things and backing that up with action. Don't take my words for it. Take my record for it. There we go. Three-part question related to healthcare. What went right and what went wrong for Obamacare? Is this a mole in my leg or cancer? And what would you do to make healthcare feel better? Um, it looks like a mole and we need some sort of public health care, Medicare for all. It's actually gravy. And do you think we can afford Medicare for all? Well, I'd say we can't afford our current system. Medicare for all will ultimately be cheaper for everyone. They like that. There we go. Gabbard rallies base. That's what I'm talking about. More blue. No matter who. Just address the opioid crisis. And then... Probably... Let's try Ohio. Invest in America. Not doing too much. Let's go to Minnesota. Um, farm subsidies. Shit. Um, let's go to New York and fundraise. There we go. And then head over there. Let's get a smear merchant in Georgia. It's the first time I've used an operative, I think, actually. So there we go. And then let's head over to Washington State. Do a bit of fundraising, see if we can get much. That's okay. I'll take that. Voters indecisive as election draws near. There we go. Ooh, importance of a strong military raise in all states. That's actually not too good for us. Shit. But, um, shit. Okay. Let's head over there. Because I was about to advocate for uh, bringing the troops home. Let's see if that does any good. Lots of purple. A lot of purple. But we do have a lead in a f couple places now, actually. We're actually purple in Alabama, which is interesting. More or less blue in Louisiana. Iowa... Mm, doesn't lean one way or the other. What's somewhere we can pick a way at? We haven't been to Kentucky? Hmm. Let's try Kentucky. Let's give a speech over there. Invest in America. Less regulation. Okay, well, Georgia's gone. The free political operatives appeared in Virginia. Okay. We got a fundraise. We are out of money. There we go. Shit. We are kind of losing. We've lost Georgia. 
It's too early to say anything quite yet, but it's not looking good. And then Tennessee, um, Invest in America, got that boost, that's nice. Iowa, I think it's going to be easier. Okay, um, fine. I was going to say, we were pretty solidly blue there, now we're purple. New Mexico's purple too, it's not good. Um, farm subsidies. Um, invest in America and then Louisiana well, our enthusiasm is pretty high in a lot of these places yeah well Georgia is just very enthused about Jeb which someone being enthused about Jeb has never happened so that's nice for him kinda happy for Jeb but at the same time it's not the best for us you know Let's go ahead, okay, invest in America. Gotta go all the way to Alaska, which is fine. For that town hall, but let's go ahead, raise the funds needed. And then, probably go to Nebraska and rally some support there. It won't be too much, but, oh shit, we can't do that quite yet. Okay. Let's go ahead in Nebraska. Hey, farm subsidies. You guys farm. So we got that going for us. Invest in America. Back to blue. Ohio. Okay. This is going to be very down to the wire. Invest in America. We got Ohio. Just about. Unless anything crazy happens. I feel good about South Carolina. Tennessee's up in the air. Kentucky, we have the advantage. Louisiana, we have the advantage. Alabama can go anywhere. Okay, we're gonna do a whole ass hurrah to saving the bees. Come on, Georgia. It's gonna be 50-50. There. So I'm not sure. I thought I, I thought I'd never say this, but I, I I think we need to go to Alabama. It's a little bit of support, a little bit of enthusiasm, and will give us an edge. And then, same for Tennessee, I think. Right, it's going to be close. But, let's see how it goes. Election night, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Blue. Blue, 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 red, blue, red, red, blue. There we go. Uh, blue. All right. Let's see the blue. There we go. Blue. Okay. Blue. <laughs> Holy shit! We turned Alabama blue. Blue, red, blue, oh, Chicago. Oh, no, it's going to go blue pretty much no matter what. There we go. Okay. We already won. Shit. <laughs> there we go. Got Nebraska. Lost for Dakotas. Texas. Lost that. Makes sense. Yeah, we are doing pretty damn good. And then this isn't... This is without our blue West Coast firewall. Yeah, holy shit, this was a blowout. Let's see, did we win the popular vote this time? Gavard has won the day with, in the presidency with a strong showing in both the electoral college and the popular vote. Gabbard won, despite the fact that Bush used more ideological points, Gabbard spent less money than Bush, which just goes to show you that you don't have to buy your victory. 68.65 million. Let's check the exit polls. Invest in America. Everyone supported me. 
Um, passionate conservatism. People went for Bush. But generally, people were on my side on most of the issues. Bring the troops back home. Usually people are more on board with that. That's a big issue for all sides. But just because of um, that one random event, I think strong military ruled out. So let's see. Alaska, yeah. Hawaii made sense. We're going to win big there anyway. Home state advantage. Um, pretty solid. And yeah, Wyoming went red, but that I can kind of see coming. Kansas. Mississippi. Strangely close. Arkansas. Indiana. West Virginia. North Carolina. Okay, let's see some of these blue states. Just see how close things were. Nebraska was wasn't that close. Alabama was close. Louisiana was kind of close. Georgia was very close. Holy crap. Tennessee very close. Kentucky very close. Ohio not that close. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first female president. The first Hindu president. The first Samoan slash Pacific Islander president. I forget exactly what flavor of Pacific Islander she is. I think it's Samoan. I know she was born in Samoa. So, yeah. 13 grand left. I don't know what we do with that 13 grand. Probably don't celebrate. But, we did, ladies and gentlemen. Gabbard Sanders, 2020. There you go. 390 electoral vo votes. Almost 69 million Americans. Normal difficulty. You know. Pretty decent score. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked this video, this, ah, fuck. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of my content in the future, I'm probably going to do some more of these videos because you guys seem to like them. Um, I also do other stuff like Arts of Iron, Mass Effect, just general stuff. So if you're interested in anything like that, hit that subscribe button. Maybe even hit the bell if you're really interested. If you have any comments on candidates who I should run, I kind of know what I want to do for my next series. And it's, it's going to be more silly playing around. Not so serious, but if you, have any, if you have any suggestions outside of that, go and leave it in the comment section below. Or if you just have any feedback for me, I read all the comments I get. I appreciate any all feedback you have for me. I try to reply to as all the comments I get, if I have something to say, of course. Uh, so yeah, if you want to support financially, I have a Patreon down below. You can send a few bucks my way if you are so inclined. If not, fair enough. I understand, but I, appreci I would appreciate it if you could. Also, I have a Discord down below. If you want to check that out, we can chat, play games, have a grand old time, set up some multiplayer maybe. I don't know. It's up to you guys, but check it out down link below. And yeah, that's really about it, guys. My name has been Dogboat333, and I'll see you kiddos in the next video. Goodbye.